Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring Sick Fits. <laughs> Namaste, you little punks, and welcome to Sick Fits episode 47, the Sick Boy Summer episode. Now, previously on Sick Fits, I respectfully asked you to send me your summer outfits, and boy, oh boy, did you guys deliver. As you can tell from my monotone yet slightly elated reaction, the levels have never been higher. Also, if you're new to the channel and you want to know more, then stick around to the end of the video for next week's theme and vital info on how to submit your fit. So without further delay, Sick Fits 47 Summer Edition. Thrifted single stitch whatever t-shirt, thrifted brown corduroy flared trousers, Doc Martin mono derbies, and the Ori painted tote bag. Kicking off Sick Boy Summer, we have a strong vintage outfit. Jeans and a t-shirt? No, 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 no. We've moved up to flared trousers and single stitch tees. From the top, we've got a clean vintage t-shirt. Nothing too loud at all. It's literally just this subtle off-center graphic that just adds a little hit to the fit. We got them tucked into the flares to tidy up the length, giving the top a cut off cropped look and at the same time putting the entirety of these flares on show, just showing off all 10 foot of the trousers. The accessories, the rings and the bracelet do a great job of breaking up the outfit so it's not so straight edge. And the tote bag is just an essential at this point. You ask anyone what's in their tote bag and they'll just tell you that's where they keep their excess drip. Finally, the Derby's Hammer Home, this casual vintage but smart aesthetic. And altogether, this outfit is simple in composition, but everything is used with purpose. Unique low hat, MN plus LA t-shirt, a Visu jacket, vintage military trousers, Sui Coke sandals, Carhartt socks, and the undercover reversible hobo bag. There is so much military green in this outfit that you just know that my guy is on the front line on the war against the swaggerless homies. The outfit as a whole has a military basics vibe about it, the unique low hat, the white t-shirt, the cargoes, but I like the way that it's been disarmed. The personal touches like the bracelet, the necklace, Sui Coke sandals, and even the denim jacket shifts the outfit outfit from frontline infantry to off-duty civilian drip, which is impressive because the military aesthetic is hard to implement into an outfit without looking like you're about to support international peacekeeping efforts. There are influences from the minimal slash menswear aesthetic as well. A basic white t-shirt can never steer you wrong. And these Sui Cokes, man, like at first I thought they was a weird choice, but the more you look at it, the more it makes sense in the context of the outfit. Black blank tank top. Alex Skeffington and the Great Frog accessories, Amazon scarf belt, Yoji Yamamoto layered pants, Guidi PL2 boots and tote bag. Just look at this handsome young man and tell me you don't see a Filipino Jared Leto playing Morbius. This highly black, highly fashioned, highly accessorized outfit is easily one of the most unique looks in today's episode. The silhouette in this outfit is on point. The tank top exposing the gains in the arms, the accessories on the neck and wrist is all a flex in itself. The Yamamoto pants paired with the scarf belt is also a really nice touch and also paired with the top half of the outfit kind of accumulates this manly flamboyancy that works so well and the boots ah don't get me started on the boots. The Guidi boots are final form at levels of shoe drip. It's the kind of shoe that you can add to an already coordinated outfit and it just elevates the look even higher, man. Like, the power levels are unmatched, say no more. New York Sunshine Trucker Hat, your comma shirt, 13 Studios hoodie, unique low flare trousers, Collegium Destroyer Espresso sneakers, and the Cos quilted shoulder bag. I don't think you man are ready for this layered summer outfit. On the surface, with all the gear on, the fit looks best suited for mild to cold weather conditions, but when the hoodie comes off, the Your Comma shirt shines through. The accessories just add another level of style to this outfit. The trucker hat, for example, fits seamlessly with this blue color palette. The rings 
earrings and the wrist wear just add a subtle flair and oh my god this nimbus cloud or shoulder bag challenges all other totes change my mind the collegium sneakers also round off this outfit really nicely and gives it this casual aesthetic that gives me jordan one vibes but somehow looks cleaner and a lot less sneakerhead streetwear capital blue rain smiley bandana 1970s single stitch martin luther king stamp t-shirt 1970s flared distressed denim 70s converse all-stars and the joint custody records tote bag this 1970s time traveler comes at us with a vintage aesthetic that takes the jean and t-shirt combo and just makes it his own the capital bandana and the sunglasses really set the tone for this outfit the t-shirt sits at a good boxy fit and the graphic fits nicely as a focal point there's also some uncredited use of accessories that really do bring something to the outfit like the rings and the necklace just adds a little character to the fit the flared distressed jeans paired with the converse all-stars just locks in at this 70s aesthetic that brings the whole vibe together honestly as far as jeans and a t-shirt goes this is a really well put together fit oxygen clothing five panel vintage iron maiden holy smokes t-shirt thrifted tote bag thrifted pants and the Jordan 1 high bloodlines. So I really appreciate these candid mid-walk paparazzi shots. They just add a natural authentic vibe to a thick pic. Like where is he walking? Where are you going? What's your story bro? This is an outfit I just like the clean simplicity of. It's a black t-shirt, black trousers and some J's. It's the foundation to any street ready outfit that can be built on so easily. I think vintage band tees for a while now are very much a big trend at the moment and I can see why. Most of these tees have some really wavy graphics on the front of them, iconic graphics even, that stand out so much that they're just instantly recognisable. Altogether, in my opinion, this is a staple, clean, safe outfit that's really more or less out of the box and is more or less a based look for anyone starting in a vintage aesthetic. Basket case hat, vintage Malcolm X t-shirt, Walmart sunglasses, Goodwill bag, vintage Nike shorts and the Reebok Club 3s. I've just realized that we're seven outfits into a summer episode of Sick Fits and this is the very first one we've seen today that actually has shorts on. This outfit gives me the year is 1995 and I'm going on a 5k run in the middle of New York City at 6am in the morning vibes. A bit specific but tell me I'm wrong. So right off the bat it's easy to tell that there was a real focus with mixing white and black together like everything has this yin yang fusion not spiritually but like color wise. You've got the white hat with the black outlined graphic paired with a black face mask then comboed with a vintage Malcolm X t-shirt which is also black and white tucked into the Nike shorts while on the side we've got a black tote bag paired with a white bandana that also has black outline paisley it's just a 99 hit combo that just keeps on going style wise it's a solid choice it's shorts and a t-shirt but add the black and white combo boom suddenly more dynamic it's just a well thought outfit MoMA hat Fuxry shirt uniquely t-shirt, fox free socks, fox free shorts, Raf Simmons cross Dr. Martin shoes and the Prohibition sunglasses. This has got that tiger blood Charlie Sheen but make it fashion aesthetic that I really appreciated seeing in the inbox, not gonna lie. I think we can all agree by now that the hat and sunglasses combination is just a staple look this summer and paired with these sunglasses it just adds that 2021 vintage trend to the fit. I love this 70s bowling and shorts look. It's a vintage style that maintains a classy look throughout. The shirt is paired with a slim fitting tank top that not only functions well in the theme of a summer outfit but also works fully on its own as a solid style combination. The shorts with the socks and the shoes just locks in this vintage style dressed up classy vibe that fits in seamlessly with the top end of the outfit all together making this a stylish cohesive and coordinated outfit. Uniqlo long sleeve button up shirt, Stats Ballet shorts, Teva sandals and the thrifted tote bag. So here we have a clean, no-nonsense, minimal outfit that really knows what it is. What it lacks in quantity of pieces, it makes up for in the utilization of said pieces. On the surface, you might see just a long sleeve button up shirt and think, okay, it's just a blank canvas. It's not doing much. But then you notice it's paired with the tote bag and tucked into the shorts. So really it's doing a lot more than what you first thought on the surface, if that makes sense. The shorts and sandals, you could say is more function over form 
form but I wouldn't say there's even a compromise here like here you can tell that's intentional as it gives off this minimal casual vibe that works really well in a street style context blank trucker hat vintage you don't know jack t-shirt Rusty Clark accessories vintage fisherman shorts and the vintage tassel loafers i would say that compared to other vintage style outfits in today's video this is a little more casual stripped back but not in a bad way the hat and accessories add a hit of personality to the fit and the graphic t-shirt really stands out against the tonal colors of the rest of the pieces the loafers just add this whole different dynamic to the outfit that's polarizing in a sense that with a fit like this you would expect the footwear to be a bit more casual like a pair of sneakers jordans dunks whatever just to fully fall into the vintage streetwear aesthetic but my man has defied traditional conventions and embraced the post sneaker world the outfit as a whole slaps in a way that's kind of subtle on first glance but the more you look at the outfit the more you notice the little details that add way more substance than what you first thought banging outfit say no more please stick around from a word from today's sponsor Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes tailored for the creatives, the curious, and anyone who wants to learn or deepen new passion. I recommend the Skillshare community to anyone who wants to learn anything within the creative space, from fashion to photography to lifestyle to productivity. There's honestly so many topics for anyone to thrive and get lost in. Right now, I'm getting into a class called Finding Fulfillment, using pivots to power your creative career with Emma Gannon and I'm learning a lot on what it means to take active steps to achieving your creative career goals. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning which means there are no ads and are always launching new premium classes for you to keep growing and follow the topics where your creativity takes you. If you want to try Skillshare yourself, then boy do I have the deal for you. The first 1,000 people to use my link in the description will get one month of Skillshare premium. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. <laughs> Sick Fits episode 47, Sick Boy Summer Edition. Honestly, I was really impressed with today's summer outfit. I think you guys absolutely smashed it. If you liked any of the outfits featured today, then give them a shout out in the comment section. I know they would appreciate it and it doesn't hurt the YouTube algorithm. The next theme for Sick Fits is just gonna be tote bags. I know 90% of the fashion community has a tote bag and I just wanna see what people do with them and how they implement them into their outfit so tote bags also if you're new to the channel and you want an internet stranger to rate your outfit in a youtube video then submit to sick fits send an email to sickfits at outlook.com attach a photo of your outfit leave me some details of your fit what t-shirt trousers shoes are you wearing throw in your instagram handle for that free promotion hit the send button no take backsies i also want to quickly plug the sick fits instagram page we've been uploading your fits daily it's a friendly community Community, so follow sick fits on Instagram if you like today's video then please consider giving it a like it is massively appreciated and it helps this video circulate the YouTube algorithm healthily if you like what I do here and you want to see more of my fashion content press the subscribe button and the little bell notification if you want to get notified when I upload a new video you guys are the best thank you for watching my video and I will see you in the next one, sick boy summer.